Hello, and how are you? Now then, this is going to be another fantasy art drawing. Now, I don't know quite where it's going to go. I've started to map out a face. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go with this. Or where it's going to take us. But we'll see. I don't even know what we're going to add into this picture yet. We'll see as we go along. See where it takes us. From my head to the page. And uh, we just have to see what happens. Well, we... Now then, this isn't going to be like the portraits I normally do, with lots of detail. This I'm trying to do in the style of the two previous cards I did, with these colour pencils rather than using... watercolour paint. These are actually watercolour pencils. Now I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. One thing's for sure. We're going to end up with something at the end of it. What well, it will be quite, I don't know. But we should have to see, won't we? Now, as I always say, we don't want to go too heavy on any of this just yet. see where it takes us. I think once we get, uh, we'll see something a little bit special, but uh, we'll see as we go along. Now, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with this because I quite like doing these fantasy drawings. And we'll see. Because that's the nice thing about just doing these things from your imagination. Like I said before. Nobody can really criticise because we don't know ourselves where we're going with this. Now, 
I always start with the eyes. I don't know why I always have done. I think once you get an eye looking at you, you can tend to sort of uh, start to lay out the best, the rest of the picture. And where you're going to go and you get some sort of idea. Well, that's what I do. I don't know. It could be completely different. It probably is for other people. I've seen other people draw. And, uh, although i got to be honest with you, most of them I see, I think, usually do start from the eye. But, uh, now don't be under the idea that when you do these eyes, the temptation is to go straight down with the, uh, which I paid more attention at anatomy now, but the actual eye, iris, Here, we don't go right to this line. Not on this occasion. I'm not sure you would on any occasion. But uh, that would be something that would be entirely up to you. I tend to think, like I said before, you draw until it looks right to you. Now, I haven't actually put any light on this because I'm going to do that when I finish the eye a bit more, which will bring it more to life, I think. You've got to work out where the light source is coming from, whether it's coming from here, here, and by the way I've done this, it would be talking from this side, quite possibly, but I got a sneaky suspicion that that might change. So, we'll see. And this face is going to be covered with strands of hair I think so again we should have to take that into consideration but uh, again I don't know I don't know whether you made that eye big enough for the rest of the features that we've got in this picture. I would suspect not, actually. So we might have to do some... slight changes here. Possibly make this eye slight bigger. I think we will. I think we're going to come in from about here. So this side is going to get quite a bit bigger. we've already got there and then we want to take that out but don't worry too much about that because that can actually be incorporated into the light source it's just I didn't think if I'm honest looking at the size of the features that I've drawn and I think if we make the picture slightly bigger, bring this side 
at the here. Apart from anything else, it would probably be easier to draw. Especially with my eyesight where it is these days. So now, we're gonna... No, I think that's better. Do a bit more work here, I'm afraid. So I'm trying to get I don't know. I don't know. I might have to come back to this. See that will change. And uh, do a bit of work on the mouth here because I want to get that lip taken care of because I don't think that's quite right either. Not to my eye anyway. I don't know about yours. I really want to come down to about. There, I think. And to there, maybe. I don't know. Just a fraction at the end. Now then, that's something like we want to be going to get this a bit rounder, I think. I think with these sorts of drawings you just gotta look you know at pictures of eyes to get how you want this eye to be somewhere near it now. I think we are. I don't know. I think we are. Now then. A lot of the rest of the features uh, that here is going to come down just to about there I would think but we're not going to worry too much because we're not probably going to see that when we actually do the picture where we get going so right then I think we've uh, we're getting somewhere now now we can Shades with this colour in here. Now, what I try and do, I try and do with this, is try and do it in a way 
that you're actually following the shape of the face, like the cheeks. Like so, and then you bring the next bit down and round. Don't worry about the pencil lines being a bit dark, because we can soon smooth this up a bit so you can see what I'm doing. We can move those around a bit. Because this is, this is got a long way to go, this picture. Long, long, long way, so we're not going to get hung up on how things look just yet. Because uh, we've got to work out what other things we're going to, other dynamics we're going to put into this picture. And we want to take some of these heavier lines out, I think, to soften the picture. This is getting a bit on the heavy side, I think. We want to make it a bit more delicate, if that's the right word that I want. I think it probably is for now. Right then, that's uh, something I like it. We're gradually getting things where we want them to be. I think with the world with the face anyway. Uh, there we are. I thought we'd had a thought we'd had a crow. Go to design crow. And then. We have to think of some other features we want to put into this picture. So we have to bear in mind, to some extent, I want to match them up with the pictures I've already been doing. Which, uh, if you haven't seen, how sort of King Arthur sword in the stone design, but there is one on this page. Now, what I think we're going to do. In this top piece here is we're going to add a moon I think now I don't know what size moon we're going to put in there but I'm going to put a moon and uh, I think actually what we're going to do for now We're going to end this for now and say this is part one. And I'm going to do a part two. And with this particular we might find we have to do part three and four so we'll see how we get on I think that's where we're going to leave it for now okay see you next time if you like what I do, 
please subscribe. That would be most helpful. Thank you.